Hey folks, welcome to the podcast. So we're doing a special series of podcasts which I'm recording over Google Hangouts. So we're doing audio and video because for some unknown reason, people don't wanna come see me face to face right now. But there's always opportunity and the cool thing is I'm able to now podcast with people from all over the world. So we're gonna get an amazing eclectic mix of people from, from different industries, different perspectives to share their story and tell us you know, their thoughts and feelings on what's going on right now and all of that cool stuff hope you enjoy it please subscribe in all the usual places and enjoy awesome and we're live thanks for joining us Thrill. and um it's great to have um dan reed here the career dad how are you doing i'm good mate how are you good thank you very good well I was on your podcast a few weeks ago yeah uh, which i don't think the masses have had the pleasure of listening to yet um but no. soon. Yeah. so how is well how are you finding working from home so um i <laughs> i read you're an advocate let's uh, maybe just to set the scene <sighs> yeah set the scene we um for those that don't know we were on a panel together uh at willis towers watson on mm. working from home yeah and i think it felt like it definitely didn't feel like we were going to be locked down at that point <laughs> no like no. no no way we were like this is this really should happen you know people need to be able to work from home and the whole thing mm. and then and then this massive catalyst is just <laughs> rocking it's, us yeah it's do you know what i, I i'm kind of c coronavirus has done a lot and one of the things that probably impacts you know no one else cares about but me um is is it's really impacted what i write and talk and advocate about because a lot a lot of what i talk about is you know, how to get your manager bought in to work from home, the benefits to companies about working from home, how to make the transition. Well, everyone's made the transition, now, haven't they? So I'm I'm looking, cur currently looking for new material. Um, so, do you know what? I think you've still got value to add because I don't think everyone mentally, people probably haven't quite got there. No. And do you know what? I um, So I read, uh, I don't know if you know... Um, What's the guy's name? Uh, Brian Ballantyne. Uh, I don't know if you're connected. Oh, no, with him. So he's uh, he's a senior manager over Am uh, Amazon. A uh, huge, huge advocate of uh, diversity and inclusion, working from home, parenting, all of that. And I saw he wrote something on LinkedIn today, which was, uh, I'm not working from home. I'm trying to survive at home whilst working. <laughs> and and that sums up <laughs> what yeah. I'm going through. And I think what's What's really interesting is because, um, like yourself, huge advocate of, of remote working, flexible working, you know, whatever guys you want to take that in. Um, so now we're in this lockdown and people go, oh, well, you know, you've been talking about this for years. I go, no, 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 no. This is, this is, not, this is not flexible working. This is the least flexible, flexible working uh, arrangement I've ever known. And it's, it's tough, man. Like, to, to be honest with you, I think, so we, we as a family went into lockdown uh a, well uh, you know household isolation a week before the lockdown came in okay so so uh, as of today uh this is day 26 for me wow have you got um, one of those like uh, prison uh, charts where you're like really I've, yeah. yeah 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 it's um, it's <laughs> it's on its way so i i decided to try and do something a tiny bit more uh productive and i i, I do a, a daily lockdown kind of video that kind of summarizes what's happened in the day I'm trying to add a bit of comedy uh although yeah. it's mainly me who finds it funny that aside um yeah it's, it's really hard and i think that the first week of that which was so our week of isolation not lockdown week it, it yeah. felt all right it was do you know what i get to work from home this week the kids are a little bit ill which is why we were in lockdown anyway yeah. just make sure they're okay they were off school but yeah it was a bit like an impromptu half term what's not to like then we go into full lockdown. Uh, well, sorry, we go into full work from home if you can. That lasted yeah. for about a week, and then it went into proper social distancing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've I've gone on a real emotional, mental uh, <laughs> journey with this. I've gone through state, like honestly, because so, someone um, I was speaking to said that it's uh, there's a Harvard Business Review study which is saying that what we're going through now is the exact same as grief. And and I because because we because we've um because we've lost something right we've lost our freedom in in a way, uh and I, yeah. I, that really resonates with me because I've been angry I've been sad I, I you know I've been moody, uh now, 
I feel like I'm just it is, it is what it is. Have you like accepted? Yeah, accepted I, I, you know, that. yeah, I've accepted it and just making the best of it that I can. So, you know, it takes it does take people different lengths of time to get to that acceptance thing. Because how about Definitely. you? So for me, I I love I love face to face yeah. interaction. I mean, I'm I'm all about. Um, you know, walking around the city, I like meeting people for a coffee, for yeah. a lunch, for a breakfast, for dinner. I get a lot of energy from um, meeting people. Mm. So this is very, um, this is very um, extraordinary for me to yeah. just be sitting in my house. And also as a family, um, and we should be better at this, but even on the weekend, we're all getting the, the kids get up early anyway. Mm. We're like, right, what are we going to do? And we very rarely just chill out. We never okay. stand up our pajamas and just watch a, a film the whole weekend. Okay. But we keep saying we should. It's always we're always on the go. Okay. And so for, for all of us now, it's like, oh, what do we do? But um, is, is that know. because is that because you want to be busy or you feel like you should be busy? Probably a bit of both. Okay. Um, we like we like being busy, but then also we feel like we can't just leave the kids watching TV the whole sure. weekend. I yeah. want to try and get them to do something. Or if I'm not seeing them much in the week, I want to share activities with them. Yeah, so yeah. like, I know whether it's like we start doing some rock climbing. Nice. We're doing like, yeah, yeah, to like different things. Um, take them to, I don't know, it could be ballet or whatever activity it is. Yeah. But I think maybe we do too much. Okay. So, but anyway, now we're doing nothing. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, apart hard? from, on, apart, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you know what? Uh, I say yes, yes and no. I'm quite, I ad I've adapted quite quick because my, my motto for the year has been not to worry about things I can't affect. Yeah. And as soon as you realize that, I mean, mother nature, mm. I mean, you know, what can you do? Yeah. And I just accepted quite quickly that, hey, you just got to adapt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You That's know, cool. evolve. It's a bit of an endurance sport isn't it life and things happen <laughs> yeah so um so i adapted and i and i uh, i mean for me i i'm a headhunter i run a headhunting firm mm. and so i just booked in loads of video calls so i mean a lot of people want to speak to me and nice. it's really fun and i love that so i've substituted face-to-face -face coffee with a virtual coffee yeah and, um yeah in a, in a in a in an interesting way has that widened the amount of people you can actually speak to and and actually is there you know regardless of of, of lockdown is there almost a business case for that on occasion anyway because you just have a wider audience yeah so so often so with me i'm like balancing um so I have a team that, that deliver and all these things, but I tend to balance, um, say, business development or going and seeing customers and mm. candidates and stuff um, with delivery. So when we get a search, me and my team deliver it. Um, and there's always a bit of a balance. Now, at the moment, we have some searches and my team are delivering. Um, but apart from that, um, it's very difficult to see how to know how many new searches are going to come up in the next few months. Yeah. Maybe lots, maybe not many. Some are still going, some are paused, you know, so it's a, it's, it's a great, so all, the, all of that said, it's a great time for me mm. to just connect with people that I haven't had the chance to. I met 650 people last year um, right. in 2019, totted mm -hmm. it up. It's quite a lot of people. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I've, this is my 10th uh, my year from the 1st of April. And it's just nice. a lot of people that, you know, you just, it's been a few months, a bit too long that you haven't connected. So I'm using it as an opportunity to reconnect. Nice. And and everyone should. I think it's good. You know, a little window into people's bedrooms or living rooms, and exactly everyone wants to have a little chat. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you doing similar stuff or what's? Yeah, I think so. It's funny, isn't it? So my my kind of working day is just full of calls. Um, it's actually quite hard to get work done. Just just the amount of calls um that I'm on, and then now because, you know, I. As I say, well, as you said, I, I'm a working from home advocate, so I'm used to working from home once or twice a week. But now I'm working with colleagues that never work from home or very rarely do. Um, and so everyone wants to jump on video call, which is cool. Love that. Yeah. But when you literally you could have nine calls back to back and they're all video calls, I just sit in this chair on video and that's yeah. that's not how it should be. And And so. On the one hand, you know, one of the latest articles I wrote was, 
you know, top tips when working from home, a caveat pre-COVID, which was, yeah, you know, if you are if you are on a call, put your video camera on. It helps you to be more present, especially if other people are in a room. But yeah. now it's like, you know what? Sometimes if I've got three back to back calls, I need to go on a walk and just take that with me because otherwise I haven't moved. Yeah, I've done quite a few on my phone, actually, because you can obviously do all these on your smartphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and and it's cool. I mean, I got I got video bombed by my uh, by my kid uh, today. Nice. I, I posted it on LinkedIn. She was wearing a swimsuit, swim hat, and swimming goggles. Yeah. What what do you do when your kid goes and photo bombs uh, a video call like that? She's like, hey. Yeah. And you're like you're like trying to style it out. You like want to say go away, but you can't. Yeah, you... yeah. Um, but I think now like everyone's everyone's quite chilled out about it, and and it's quite nice seeing people in their own habitat almost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's my my. So I've yeah, I've got an eight month old daughter and a five year old son. And uh, my daughter, uh, she she's been on so many calls with me just because it could be, you know, she she usually has two naps a day. And if I'm on a call where it's that nap time and it's a good opportunity, <laughs> my voice sends her to sleep. I don't know whether that's a good <laughs> or a, a bad thing, but I I you know I know if it's if it's eleven o'clock or two thirty and she's sat you know, with me, she'll be asleep in 10 minutes if I'm on a call. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so my team and even just actually people who I've never met before, I've had some intro calls with with her, right. you know, my daughter as well. And it's just such an icebreaker. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, will that continue post COVID? I'm not sure. Um, Difficult to tell. Mm. I'd like to feel, do you know what? I mean, I was um, difficult to tell. I think um, some things will change. But mm. I think more, m most likely we'll go back to normal. <laughs> yeah. Let's say, you yeah, know, like, yeah. you know, I mean, people are, are greedy. They want to make money. Yeah. You know, um, all of those things. So I'd like to think some things will change. Maybe mm. it depends on how long we're at. We're in this scenario for. Um, yeah. But we'll see what I find interesting and I'll get your, your view on this. But mm. I used to have like, let's say I used to have two jobs, so uh, work and parent. Yeah. But but um, but now I've got like work, parent, and teacher, mm. and uh, and so obviously there's me and my wife, so we're we're like sharing the load. Although my wife works in the NHS, so mm. slightly different like dynamics to both of us being at home all the time, working from home with the kids. But yeah. how are you? How are you guys finding like doing those three jobs? And are you are you splitting mm. it up? And like, how does it work for you guys? Yeah. So. <sighs> Again, this has been a real journey, more um, inside my own head more than anywhere else, because I think I started off with the expectation of what I should be doing and very quickly moved into what I have to do to survive. And I guess to, to kind of uh, expand on that a bit, when the schools closed, I was thinking, okay, um, social media is just showing me people drawing up charts of you know, English at this time, PE at this time. Um, there's so many resources flying about for, uh, you know, learning key stage one, which is obviously for my son. Um, and, and I think, okay, the resources are there, the technology is there, the time is there, uh, although that was wrong uh, for, for my situation. Um, and, 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 and I can see everyone else doing it, or at least the intention of doing it. Um, yeah. And and so I was like, right, I, I I've got to join this, and failed very quickly, just because um, you know the nature of of my day job. Um, this is the busiest I've ever been. Um, right, work, so, work wise. Work work wise. So yeah. work work wise. Um, so I work in uh, financial services for a, a large global bank. Um, I look after their websites and uh, email marketing, marketing automation, marketing technology side of things. Um, so. I uh, so on the Friday when so the, the the week before the schools closed so the the Friday before that um, when things started getting a bit hairy I got I got uh, a call um, ten thirty in the evening on Friday night saying there's a call nine thirty Saturday morning you need to be on it um, and I without any context of of what was going oh, on because yeah and and then basically a long story short that turned into um we're 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 looking after our colleagues but we need to make sure our customers are being served the call center is ramping down so you need to build a lot more functionality on the website we need people to be able to self-solve uh so it's you know right. website forms it's faqs it's a whole covid19 yeah. hub uh go oh. go go 
and and yeah i i well me and the team kind of worked for about 10 days on the bounce and 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 like you know long hours and we were just done we were just so done and i thought i don't know how i meant to i'm actually struggling to see my kids let alone teach them right all right Um, right and and it's really tough because the message from um from the top was the right message which was make sure you're looking after yourselves looking after your families uh well-being is so important um and and i i believe that they're saying it with with integrity but then sometimes the reality is i can't say no i'm not gonna build that form and stop you know, thousands of calls to the call center and divert them off to another team because I'm going to do math. You've, you've got to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you've got to respond to the demands of your of your job. Yeah, yeah. Um, the one, the one thing I think that's quite important is people that take holiday days mm. because you'll find, you know, who wants to take a holiday day and stay at home? Yeah, fair enough. However, yeah. what you've described is a lot of people they're working longer, they yeah. don't have a commute, and often yeah. that's translating into maybe more work. Yeah. Um, so I think it's really important uh, to take some holiday days do you, do during. You know, yeah. Sorry. I was saying, sorry. Go on. No, no. I was, I was just going to say, do you know what the the so so just to, to 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 finish off really quickly your your question. My my wife's on maternity leave, so we're incredibly lucky. Even though I'm sure she doesn't think so, right. <laughs> is she she can have both the kids uh, all day. And I yeah. can work all day. And what I try and do is just when I'm not on calls uh, is go down. And even if it's just, you know, I'm having I'm taking a lunch break and I'm having lunch with the kids like that. Yeah. At least it's something. Um, and as I say, I'll take the baby um, when I can. And so so that's how we're managing it. But the thing that I I think this morning was the first time that it actually hit me. I think this is a problem. I don't have a commute now. Obviously, I don't have a commute, but the commute is my time to just think or, you know, not have anyone ask me questions. I, I'm what, so I'm like you, right? I'm a super sociable, put me in a room of people. That's my happy space. However, when I'm commuting mentally, that's my time. So I'll see people I know on the platform and will actively avoid them. You, you know, don't talk to me on the commute. That's, that's my time. And I don't have that. And so, you know, I like, like this morning, for example, I was on a 9 a.m. call and, you know, uh, eight fifty nine minutes, 50 seconds. I'm downstairs with the kids and then I literally run upstairs, dial on a call. And I find that really hard. Yeah. yeah. I've been trying to do um, a, like a, a half an hour walk. OK. Before I start. So I'll see the kids. I mean, it's a mixture. I'm trying to I'm trying to mimic a little commute, really. It's quite nice mm. to like have a little exercise get, yeah. get, I, I like i like commuting because i like the walk the time to, no one's talking to me i've got my headphones in listen yeah. to a podcast or something yeah. otherwise it's like straight up um feed the kids chat play straight onto a call yeah it's nice to mix it a bit yeah it's nice to mix it i'm just so, trying to find that and that's that's what so what i was thinking is <laughs> some such a rule abider i was i like to go for a run um, but what I don't want to do is use my allocated <laughs> time out of the house for like a 15, 20 minute walk. So I want to use it again later. Now I know I technically, run. yeah. So I know I could, I don't yeah. like who's well, going to stop me. But... No, yeah, yeah. I've been doing, so I do CrossFit, um, okay. and that, so it's CrossFit gym and they yeah. do online zoom classes. So nice. they do five in a day. So me and my wife like to do it. So sometimes we do it together. Like mm-hmm. there's, um, is a late one but i've been doing 1 p.m um yeah. it's like 40 minutes i feel so guilty exercising at lunchtime really? yeah because i never exercise at lunchtime um i either exercise at like i do a 6 30 a.m to 7 30 okay. or i do a 7 to 8 p.m one or the other okay um a, a few three four days a week and my wife does the same but different mm. days um i just feel like i'm bunking off work if i'm uh really? if i'm excited yeah i don't know why it's just i've never done it so okay but anyway it's been really nice um it's like 45 minutes exercise my kids are still like cruising around mm. um, it's fun so i've been doing that actually which has been quite nice nice um what i've also found i've spoken to a lot of friends and i spoke to a ceo of a of an insurance company last night actually and he was saying um he's not expecting parents to do more than four hours work a day wow okay yeah if two parents are at home with two kids what you're finding a lot of people are doing is shifts 
Mm. So I've got a good friend of mine, that scenario, she looks after the kids in the morning, he works, he looks after the kids after lunch, mm. she works. And the great thing is a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of leaders um, are showing a lot of empathy and kindness t- to this situation. And I mean, he was like, um, well, they can't do any more work than that anyway, you know, yeah. so let them feel it's okay to, mm. to do it. Cause otherwise you're like, you know, you like, you can get, you can get built up, right? You're like, got to do this, got to do this. And actually you've got to look at the kids and, and you end up doing nothing, nothing properly. So yeah, exactly. More people like that. I mean, cause that's the reality. You, you actually can't, I mean, if you're both working and you're yeah. both at home and you've both got, and you've got two kids, it's like, you're never going to. Well, this, yeah. this is, this is the thing. Cause my wife, yeah, she's on maternity leave until end of august i think and now i'd like to think this is all done and dusted by then but if it's not we're you know she she's she's speaking to her employer now because they want to know what her return to work kind of deal is and we're talking about um you know does she take a career break potentially um because i don't know if 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 i think we'll be back we'll be back i really hope so i don't think the economy can take it if we're not no Um, no but, but the interesting thing is um, for us to actually go back to work and we'll have to do testing and stuff like that. But but the key thing is that schools need to reopen first. Otherwise, where are you going to stick your kids? You can't actually go back mm, to work. That's true. Um, yeah. So I think, uh, and I'm quite optimistic, but we'll see. Maybe end of May, beginning of June. That'd be quite nice. That'd be but lovely. Quite me. Well, if it happens, quote me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it doesn't happen, I think that some. <laughs> Jude, I just can't. I, I just, I don't think the country can afford yeah. to not get back before September. Yeah. So, because I, I, I'm a bit of an, an LBC listener, um, and uh, you know, there's Nick Ferrari, who I'm not particularly the biggest fan of. However, I do find myself listening to his his morning show, cool. um, and and yeah, he he's like, you know, at what point does the deaths from the economy outweigh the potential and you're like yeah he's got a point well the 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 real hard thing is and you wouldn't want to be trying to make these decisions uh yourself but politicians have to put a price on life ultimately Mm. yeah and um and yeah you know there's a lot of bad consequences from the economy you know taking a real dive so it's hard i mean you know you can't win either way you really Um, can't yeah. yeah so it's, it's a really it's a real tough one actually mm. so we'll see i mean um hopefully we'll be back in the city at work at some point are yeah. you going to be doing more days or the same from home once all this is uh is blown over now do you know proper submersive <clears throat> experience <laughs> so i think i th- <laughs> i'm still going to enjoy my working from home but for me working from home is being in the house by myself um you know i'm not getting you know it's, it's i want to preface this by saying it's lovely having the family around i'm having so much time with my daughter at this like she is literally days away from crawling and it's been okay. so amazing seeing that kind of wobbly sitting up stage to now the kind of bum moving back and forth and i'm like i'm here i'm seeing it i never had that with my son so that is brilliant yeah <laughs> however i am um, i yeah I, i'm gonna look forward to working from home in an empty house but i'm gonna i miss i do miss the i even miss the commute i like the commute yeah. what what i'm struggling with is the commute is actually a super productive time for me um just from a writing or a reading perspective that's that's where yeah. i write or read and and i haven't written or read in nearly a month because i can't i haven't yet figured out how to fit it in yeah. So I listen mm. to a lot of podcasts on my commute to work as well, to and from work. Yeah. Interestingly as well. So I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to getting back. I don't think I'll do I don't think I'll do days from uh, from home, but we'll see. I mean my job's mm. more I don't have to do like hardcore like desk based mm. deep work. I don't have to program websites yeah, yeah, yeah. or you know, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um also, I wanted to ask you about your 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 post. You did a great post on LinkedIn. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Oh on yeah, toxic positivity. Toxic and, positivity, uh, which yeah. I thought was great. And uh, and you were kind of you were going across the fact that a lot of people are saying, you know, use the lockdown to learn a new skill. Yeah, and do something. If you don't, you've lacked serious discipline. Yeah. And uh, uh, what do you think? Yeah. What did you think about that? I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, why not? I'm not a fan. 
I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan because, and this is where this whole toxic positivity uh, came from. Because I, I just think, you know, it's. I've seen I've seen this quote a number of times, and I've seen and and the quote and it not verbatim, but is along the lines of, uh, you know, if if you if you come out of this lockdown and you haven't gained knowledge or learned a new skill, you never lacked you never lacked time, you lacked discipline, and. I've seen it on TikTok, I've seen it on Twitter, I've seen it on LinkedIn. Um, and it tends to be young 20-something singleton men who are who are saying this. And I just think it lacks empathy. I think that I think, yeah, for a small I mean, I, I don't actually believe that the whole tough love thing works at the best of times maybe that's just for me but but even if you do or the science says that it does there's regardless of whether you're a parent or a carer or whatever's going on people are going to deal with this lockdown in very very different ways and there's already you know research coming out saying that there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of fear there's uh, and then you add the you know my world the, your world the kind of parenting in there as well and the whole you know are you educating your kids and working and teaching and looking after yourself and you think well no so i'm already failing even if that's a subconscious thing and then you've got you know some prick going if you if you i, was, I was, don't know whether i could swear on your part anyway uh you can edit that uh, i'm mirroring my editor out but it's fine no fine, problem. Right. You, you've got you've got some dude saying uh you know yeah if you haven't learned a new skill you're failing I, ju I just don't have time for that i just think where's the empathy what about people who already feel like they're failing let alone thinking yeah do you know what this is the time this is the time that i'm going to learn spanish like what are you talking about <laughs> so i i just yeah. and and i think the reason that i have an issue with it and i kind of labeled it as toxic uh, positivity is because i think the underlying message is positive is that don't make excuses <laughs> and 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 do what you want to do and yes you potentially have found yourself with more time on your hands now if you have found yourself with more time on your hands that could be because you've been made redundant that might not be the best headspace to decide to learn you know something new and i just think i just don't like one i don't like the broad brush strokes of well this is how, how everyone should do something and then two i just i just don't like i just don't like fear based positivity I just yeah, no, I, know you're saying. I know what you're saying do you know what i think i think um i'd like to i'd like to think that a lot of these people and you mentioned young um single guys maybe is, is doing that most mm. i think you know on your i mean we're both lucky enough to to share a house with three other people mm. and uh you know so we're locked down and, and we've got company and stuff like that i guess i guess if you're on your own um completely on your own then you need in you know yourself to really you know get yourself up for it right because you go yeah, through these yeah. ups and downs and that could be you know learning spanish doing yoga doing a crossfit sesh whatever yeah, it yeah. might be um so i think that's really really great it's when they they want to tell other people that they should be doing the same thing and if they don't they, they fail if they don't they fail they yeah. kind of miss that they are doing the right thing like yeah. it's great to learn spanish it's great to come out of the lockdown saying hey i've like learned jiu-jitsu yeah. Um, which is great but not everyone's going to be able to because no one has the time well, you know everyone's in a different scenario this this it's, is the uh, thing and i think that and and you know my i'm also because it's all it's all well and good for me to stand up and say this is ridiculous uh but then i'm also part of the problem on the counterweight so i i i i'm empathetic towards that and you know i was speaking to a colleague earlier today who's um from what i think anyway a, a, a single uh, young uh, lady lives by herself and she was saying do i have any you know she wants to upskill in this time wants to learn more about um you know content management systems and websites yeah. and uh, analytics and stuff can i can i make any recommendations and i'm thinking that's fantastic you know that that is that should be absolutely applauded and and yes i, I can help with that um so i do to your point i think that you know if i was if I rolled back 15 years and this was happening, uh, I would probably be, probably be setting in for a, you know, a, a Gears of War Xbox 
you know session for for the foreseeable yeah. future <laughs> and yeah if i saw a post that was more geared at do you know what that thing that you've always wanted to do you now have the time i think yeah do you know what i do um i yeah. just yeah i just don't like the blanket approach of the failing side of it yeah just people are missing like it's perspective right like mm. your context is I'm, I'm a single guy i'm on my own i have time i don't want to get depressed i need to do stuff yeah. and i've got time to do stuff that's great but then someone else in a different context yeah just trying to look after their two kids yeah um, you know and just like swimming above water, just struggling you well, know just surviving this, this this is the thing and uh, you know what so i did you know a huge fan of tiktok um there was i did see a guy kind of do this video on tiktok and i thought you know i'm not going to get into an argument i'm not going to be that guy but you know i just i just i just commented because i'd seen some of his other videos and i i really i thought they were really good and i just said you know your other videos had me just with this one i think you're lacking some empathy um just maybe think about that and and he got really nasty uh and you know was was kind of having a bit of a go at me and he's like you know my, what what are you talking about and i was like you know well you might have parents you might have have whatever and he's like my my channel isn't for those people it's for entrepreneurs and i'm like so what parents can't be you know I don't, they're, not, they're not binary things no, uh, no, it's true. Uh, it's true. Well, well just, do you know what I you need to do? It. Diarize once this is over to check back and just find out from him what he's learned. How is he yeah. used the time effectively? People talk about it, mm. but what what they do when no one's looking? That's the absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just learning to get through a global pandemic. That's my skill. I think yeah, that's it. No, I mean, it's crazy. What? What's yeah. your just that last question? What's your school doing? Yeah, so uh, actually, they, they've been really cool. So they've set up uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, nice. So yeah, so the, the whole class is on Microsoft Teams. They get assignments. Um, my son's teacher calls every week. Um, right. some... Well, like a video, a video call or a phone call? No, just a phone call. And it's more nice. to me nice. to make sure that, you know, it was, right. do you know what? The first time it happened, um, my my, wi my wife did a number on me. So, so, so... <laughs> We'd, we'd kind of looked at Microsoft Teams at the weekend and I was like, yeah, no, I, I understand it. That's fine. And I'd looked at the assignments, which was like, you know, there here are five animals, pick three of them and make a super animal, that kind of thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get round to that. Obviously never got round to it. And then my wife receives the phone call from the teacher and she was like, so something was going on. She's like, oh, I'll just get Dan. I'll just get Dan. And, and she hands me over the phone. I've got no, I don't even know who it is. And... <laughs> What I found out, what she said to the teacher is, oh, there was a problem with Microsoft Teams. There's no bloody problem with Microsoft Teams. There's a problem with my ability to action the assignment. And so she, she hands me over this phone and I'm like, hello? And it's like, oh, hello, Dan. This is Theo's teacher. So what's the problem with Microsoft Teams? And I'm thinking, I don't even know what the context to this is. You can't even, you can't even pretend you don't know how it works. I know, right? I was just like, uh... And I, I, I have to say, I'm I'm a tiny bit ashamed. Um, I just made up a barefaced lie, um, oh, but I'm also a tiny bit proud that it was very plausible and on the spot. <laughs> so you're roll, rolling back the years to all those uh, why your homeworks for late. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's really good. I like that. So, and then do they have a live a live class? Uh, um microsoft teams or no there's none of that so it's just there's there's a chat there's the chat facility which is basically i think every now and then a child gets to access it and there's just like some really random message like ah, you know. so it's like a pre-recorded video like this is no the th no so it's, it's really um it's really the assignment it's there's no videos or anything it's just you know a powerpoint it's, it's like receiving a brief okay, yeah, it's just like a powerpoint <laughs> that's like you know do this thing <laughs> And then you do it and upload it. Um, and then there's a chat facility. Um, this is the it. thing. This is what I was talking about. I mean, you're definitely like teach a teacher now because mm. that that is like, here's the material you go teach your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that's why like a lot of parents, if you're, if you're both working at home, like just be happy with four hours a day. Work. Yeah. Th if you're trying to it. teach your kid. It's crazy. It's, it's nuts. And, and also, you know, trying to do the whole career dad thing as well. Um, you know, I, it, it's just it's just hard isn't it to try i don't want to let anything fall so no, I just, no, no, no. Uh, yeah no tricky well look you're doing good stuff thank um, you thank you so much for joining me Love no not it. at all thank you for having me um great. no keep up all the good work and um i look forward to a live a live beer or coffee when we're back in back in the game 
Love it. Let's awesome. Do it. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers, bud. See ya.